fellow second graders. Happy Thursday. We are almost finished with the week. I hope that your work hasn't been too hard for you and you've been able to understand it. We're doing the best that we can and I am so proud of you for all the effort that you're putting in. This is really kind of tough for everybody. So um, we're just doing our best and I hope that I get to see you again soon. Let's take a look at our slides for today. Good morning, second graders. Today is Thursday, April 23rd. The reading goal is the same. Your materials, you're gonna need the how to raise bean plants text and my bean plant text. You're gonna need a pencil and you're also gonna need the comparing text organizer from the packet. If you haven't gotten your packet yet for whatever reason, you can write this organizer down on any piece of paper. It doesn't have to be the one in the packet. Your success criteria stays the same. Vocabulary is the same. All right, your task for today is a little bit different than the other days this week. You're gonna review the text, my bean plant, and how to raise bean plants. So just look it over, remember what they talked about, what the main idea was, and then you're gonna complete this comparing text organizer, noting similarities, so things that are the same, and differences, things that are different, in the text. And this also counts as a um, box on the choice board, so the one in the middle. So you're gonna write the feature organization or information here, and what you saw in this text and what you saw in this text. So maybe you want to write text features here and write about the text features in this text and the text features in this text. Or maybe you want to compare the main idea. So you could write main idea here. Write the main idea of this text, the main idea of this text. You can really choose how you want to compare them. After that, you're going to do your independent reading and you're going to be entertained while you are reading. Then in math, your success criteria and your learning goals are the same. Woo! You are going to familiarize yourself with 3D shapes by watching this number rock video. If you click here, you can get the link to the video. Then you're going to watch a Learn Zillion video about identifying cubes. And the link is right here. Remember, if you're having trouble with Learn Zillion, you cannot press the full screen button or it'll ask you to create an account. So just make sure you kind of have to watch it little, but that's okay. After that, this is really fun. You're gonna build a cube. So in your offline learning packet, there is a paper that looks like this. Again, if you don't have your packet, you can draw this outline on any piece of paper. You're gonna learn about the attributes of a cube. So you're gonna learn about the faces, which are the flat surfaces on a 3D shape the vertices or the corners, which are the points, and then the edges where two faces meet. So this would be like an edge. All 3D shapes have a height, width, and a depth. They can hold something inside, which is volume. What you're gonna do is you're gonna cut this out. So you're gonna cut here, cut here, cut here, 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 here. Just the outline, you're not cutting any of the lines in the middle and you're gonna fold it and tape it together to create a cube. Then in your math journal, you're gonna record the following. I also have a little Google Classroom assignment where you're going to tell me how many faces, edges, and vertices a cube has. All right, you made it, you worked so hard, you did a great job. Remember, go back over to Google Classroom to see any other assignments that might be posted. Have a great evening and I will see you again tomorrow.